I made a working farmer's delight mushroom rice farm. So for you that don't know, this right here is like one of the best foods because it gives you nourishment for three minutes and it only takes rice and some mushrooms and uh, some vegetable. So actually it's not on, but uh, this spins around on its own, collecting rice and potatoes. It gets put onto this belt, the rice spouts gets milled and gets input into the storage. All you need is bone meal and mushrooms. I can fill this up of both types and I can turn this on. Oh, there you go. It will harvest all of the mushrooms on the side with these plows that grow. It will create a mushroom. It automatically replaces the mushroom and the, the bone meal gets automatically dispensed, making the mushroom grow every once in a while. All of the drops will then be input into the system, and all of the straws you get from milling the rice will be discarded. Then I have two mechanical arms. One is for picking it up and putting it into the storage. This storage is using stro uh, d uh, storage drawers, but you could use chests as well. The only thing you couldn't use chests for is this part of the system, which uh, uses a storage downgrade to make these exactly 64. So the second mechanical arm picks up the items from the depots and inserts them into this funnel which goes in here, filling this system up. When the drawer is full, aka at 100%, it will activate a threshold signal which turns off this part of an AND gate. If this is empty, this part will also turn off the AND gate, which means this is on, which unlocks this chute, which inputs it into the cooking pot without overfilling, and you get the mushroom rice. Don't mind us, that was just testing. <laughs> this is almost fully autonomous, except for the fact that you need to input bone meal and mushrooms manually. This is just a proof of concept, really. I haven't optimized it. Obviously, this rice and the potato farm could be way better. And you can, in fact, expand the, the cooking pots. But for my server right now, this is perfect. It's small scale and it produces just enough. Here I am on my server. I built the farm using a schematic cannon and I have it right here. I've been AFKing just to fill up the ingredients because of that farm being too slow. I had to expand it because it was just way too slow. And I'm going to build a pretty nice building around this and have this as like a bakery. So you're gonna walk in here and just be able to get the mushroom rice. The downside is that you will always have bowls in your inventory, but I mean... It doesn't really matter too much, especially since on on my server I have sophisticated uh, backpacks and I have insane storage. It goes up to like 512. Anyways, here's a clay farm building I made. That's why I have so many bricks. So I think this house is quite cool actually. I spent an entire day decorating it, although the vines kind of grew too much but <laughs> whatever uh, there is no interior but as you can tell i have just a little bit of clay you know just just a tiny bit of clay basically the plan for this world is i want to make a railway so i think the next thing i'm going to make a farm out of because i really needed food that's why i that's why i made this farm i was living off of glow berries that i had found <laughs> but yeah the, the plan for this is to have a railway go from the spawn. So this is the spawn village. Basically, it's going down maybe along the coast, crossing the river somehow maybe. Maybe even up here and going by and going into a train station. And then I want and then I want the train to travel to my base, which I have no idea where I will put. I have not explored that much. I had I don't even have an elytra. I that's the plan for this. If you guys want to see sort of episodic progress on this, let me know. And uh, yeah. Oh, also, I made a, an, an elevator using the new create mod. It's so satisfying to use. Like, oh my god. Look at this. And it goes down so far. All the way down. I, I ran the tunnel bore here and down the deep slate level. I found the... <laughs> I cracked open an amethyst shield. Yeah, this is just incredibly satisfying to use. But yeah, that's about it. By the way, this is my tree farm. In a way, that's it for me for now. Bing bong, bing bong. I just realized I could have used my mumbo jumbo cap the entire video.
Oh well, missed opportunity. <laughs>